Welcome everyone. Surprise. That's right. We're doing Sonic Boom. I woke up this morning. I opened my eyes. They were bloodshot. I went... Sonic Boom. It's time. We've been fucking around for long enough with all these subpar games. Now we're gonna do a real game. This is a bit of a classic, classic Sega game. Here it is. Everybody knows it. Kind of infamous at this point, I think. It's a little generic, but it's fun. It's fun. So here we are. This is a lot like, uh, Xevious. You guys remember I played Xevious? Well, anyway, this is a, uh, this is a fun game. It may not look like much, but it's enjoyable. Oh, yeah, just kill- that was just a civilian transport. Oh, fuck. Wow, yeah, that's just like a train full of, like, innocent fucking people. Oh, it is kind of hard to tell what's going on. I hope my little guy doesn't also take hits. Uh, wow, that- that thing just wouldn't fucking die, would it? God damn. Well, there you go, folks. That was it. That was Sonic Boom. I hope you enjoyed my stream. We all had a fun time playing video games together, but I think it is time for me to sign off. Uh, thanks for all the subs. Thanks for the raid. Basically, every time I play one of these, people are like, Oh, this is like really easy Toho, man. It's like Toohoo. And, uh, in, in Toohoo's, your hitbox is one pixel wide. That's, that's, that's the difference. In, in the Toohoo's, your hitbox is, like, smaller than my penis. Whereas in this, it's an entire goddamn airplane. I just want to, like, set the record straight for bullet hell fans out there. Sag. I'm probably not actually going to play this for long. This is a arcade game stream, by the way, lol. Go up there and just get right in their fucking faces. There you go. So, the parachute guy... I'm, like, abducting one of the enemies to fight for me. By the way, this game has gone completely fucking unrecorded in the annals of history. It was all a lie. Nobody remembers this game. Yes, Sega made a game called Sonic Boom before they made Sonic Boom. How nuts is that? Wow, I hate you. My guy does have a hitbox. My little side dude. Wow, I I, I hate this. Take all my bombs ever. I, it, 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 uh, 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 sent. Die! What the fuck, dude? Fucking ma, dude? Did you see me, like, blow, like, six bombs up in its face? And then shoot it ten trillion times? And it, it it's, it's not fucking dead? Like, what has... Is this a game? Is this a game? Is this, am I playing a game right now? I mean, we're not gonna beat this game. It's like so fucking like boring. It's just planes are shooting bullets, you know? But like, goddamn, if this isn't annoying, it's the principle of the thing. Like, I want it to fucking die. Like dot dot like dot like dot like dot like dot like dot like die, dude. Like like just like dot like like dot like. Like, die? Also, the hit sound is... Um, wow, that was the worst thing I've ever had to do in any video game ever. Wow, I hated that. <laughs> it's just, they they made it seem like it, it, it was just gonna go away, and, and then, like, I wasn't gonna be able to hit it again. But no, there's just a long period of time during that where you just simply cannot do anything to it. I never got, like, why people make games like this, you know? When it's like, have you seen, like, Mario and shit? Do you know that it doesn't have to be, like, the most boring thing you could possibly conceive of? It's like, uh, fucking... I'll say it. I will say it. I'm gonna say it, guys. Gradius. L like, what is that? What is that style? It's just like, ships. Their style is ships. There's, like, the vaguest of themes. That's not even the one, uh, Darius is the one with, uh, what is it, with, like, the sea creatures. But, like, Gradius is just, like, blah, the most, like, blah art style that you could possibly think of. It's like a businessman was asked to, like, come up with a video game. Where it's like, y you know you don't have to make video games, like, only have content of things that exist in the real world, right? Like, there is some, like, very vaguely fantastical stuff here, and I'm talking real vaguely. Like, there's no whimsy. I enjoy whimsy. Uh, yeah, this isn't very fun, and I hate everything about it. Now that the- now that, like, I've dropped- dropped the act, this isn't fun, and I hate everything about it. Shall we switch? This is, like, arcade games that are less remembered, uh, and- and some of them possibly for good reason. Okay, fuck you, Sonic Boom. We're moving on to, uh, you know what? Let's do Rally X. This is by Namco. This is a precursor to Pac-Man, I believe. It's a similar maze game. I- it might have come out after- Pac-Man was 81, right? Or was it 1980? Fuck. This is a very similar game to Pac-Man. This is what the, uh, the flag with the S on it is from in Smash Brothers. And this one, yeah, it's, it looked like it was off-center for a second there, but really it's just, there's a little sidebar thing. So this game has a fucking mini-map. You have fuel. I guess you can drop, like, I think those are, like, gas on the road. Good volume, do you think? It's probably good. 
Even that jingle is so similar to da 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 the gas you leave behind was in Pack and Pal? I don't know about that, was it? Uh, yeah, some of these old arcade games, it almost feels like cheating to play them with a keyboard. Like, a lot of people said, or were like, Oh man, you suck at Pac-Man, whatever, I play Pac-Man. And I would really implore people, try Pac-Man without keyboard. It's a nightmare, because you'll try to go in a direction and he just won't go in that direction, and you're like, bruh, okay. But like, yeah, if you, if any of you, like, charanging, wait, why did it say charanging? Is that supposed to be changing? What, what is charanging? What the fuck does charanging mean? I demand to know what the fuck they meant by charanging. This is, uh, hard. In my head, maybe this is like not how it works or something, but surely a single person who knows the English language read that at a certain point, right? Like, am I nuts? Am I, am I wrong to assume that at no point in the game's development, in translating it to English, not like literally all that takes is one like first grader who knows English. I'm not trying to insult any, I, I didn't go that way though. What the fuck? Something weird is going on there, man. I didn't press that direction. And I'm on keyboard where it actually works, so I don't know. Some, in that like big open area, there's like just some weird jank. I also don't, I don't get this game yet because I pressed gas like a thousand years before the gas actually came out. It, like just phone up like a guy that you know that knows English. I didn't go th up there, what is happening? I think, okay. Here's my theory, 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 here's my theory. When you hit a wall, you just go in a random direction. And if you hit a wall in this area, no, you just don't, you do go in a random direction. Yes, okay. When you bump into a wall with nowhere to go, you go in a random direction. That's what that is. That is what was happening. Don't really get why the gas tip. I, okay, yes. I tr so, I tried to turn back there, but I think in like, I think when you turn around, you need to fully enter the grid space. There's so much fucking like technical shit going on here. Oh fuck. Yeah, you just go in a random fucking direction if you hit a wall. That's, that's like kind of infuriating. Cause that means if you're not holding down the direction and buffering every single input, then you, you are going to get like bullshitted basically. It's like in Pac-Man when you hit a wall, you just sit there. And that's, oh, such a good innovation. Holy shit. Didn't know that that would have like such a huge impact, but it does. Okay, oh, it's over. Thank God, I'm done with this. Fuck this game. That's Rally X. Like I said, a lot of, a lot of these are probably gonna be bad. I'm gonna just, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it for you. Like these are, these are forgotten arcade games for the most part. Uh, now I, I wanna do Tron. I don't know which one came first actually. 1982, 1983, okay. There's two Tron arcade games, and I'd like to play both of them for you. There's probably more, I don't know. Here we are, look at that shit. One credits per player, insert one coin, copyright. <laughs> Tron, here we are. What in the fuck am I doing? Okay, destroy all enemy tanks. I think I just like selected a mission. Oh, it's, oh, it's more Rally X. Good. Die. Wow, that sucked. I, I shot him, and then he shot me, and then and then I died. Okay. At a certain point, it just rests control from me. Try to enter the MCP cone. Look at my little guy. Hey, yeah, uh, hey, yeah. Uh, what the fuck is this? Bro, what the fuck is this? Bro, what the fuck is this? Did I die? I think I died. Bro, what? Okay. No, I think I- did I do that? I'm like changing colors too, but that's maybe because of the changing color palette? I don't know what's happening! What do I do? <laughs> Am I like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I get it. I have a color around my body and I have to match it to the color on the thing. I don't, I, th this is real difficult. This is real fucking difficult. Apparently I need like special hardware to fucking play this or it, it just doesn't like work on emulation. So is this specific part literally just impossible to complete? Because this is just like nonsense to me. I think that is just color palette jank. I think that has, I think the color around my body has nothing to do with the game. Literally nothing to do with the gameplay. Okay, D so did I beat the top one? Is that what happened? 
I, I lost! Oh good, it's light bikes. Oh, Jesus hell. Oh wow, that's like fucking... I literally go ten times slower than he does. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you see how much faster the other guy was? I was holding it forward! Use trigger for speed control. There we go. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ! He's so much faster than me! I, I have like an accelerator. Try your mouse, someone said. Yeah, I don't- I don't think there's mouse support. Honestly, try the mouse, it could work. I, uh, do you, do you know why I said I don't think it works, guys? Do you want to hear my secret reason why I said I don't think it works? <gasps> because I, I tried it. <laughs> That's why. Like, there would be- I think there would be a very specific, like, HUD, like, indicator thing, if that was a- if that was a thing. Okay, I think I need to, like, destroy all of them, which is, like, not gonna be possible. Do, oh, do we want to talk about the fact that th apparently I did great on the tanks? I can't go back to the tanks because apparently I fucking nailed it by getting killed. I don't know what happened there. Truly. Truly, truly do not know. I wish these ROMs came with like a little packet of information because some of them it's just like, man, there's there's probably some fucking way to do this. They only just tell you, there's, there's no, somebody was like, oh, try the right stick on your controller. That is adorable. That is adorable. You have to bind all the controls yourself. I would have to basically just try every button ever, and there's like 10 trillion buttons in the settings list because there's like, you need to be able to account for like all the wheels and shit like that. So I don't know if Discs of Tron has the same issue, but we're gonna fucking try. These are, I guess, I don't know if the last one was Bally Midway, but it kind of had Bally Midway trash written all over it. You get seven deflects at each new blank or each new hunt. Uh -huh. Can't be deflected. Okay, brilliant. But I guess, yeah, it, are, do people, people know what Tron is, right, by the way? How do I deflect? Oh, there we go. It's, it's an old jank movie before Tron Legacy ever existed, and it had something to do with, like, going inside a video game, you know? That doesn't actually hit him, though, okay. But this was, like, one of the main things, was, like, you throw discs at each other on these little platforms, and I think if it's anything like the movie, the sections of the, uh, platform will start to go away. Maybe not? No, we just have two now. So I move... The thing that moves the reticle is also the thing that moves me. Which is a little weird. So it, it might actually... Like, since the other one had weird control jank, I'm I'm suspecting that maybe this one also requires, like, uh, a, a trackpad or a, a, a rolling ball. People said the last one required a ball. But currently I am moving and aiming with the same thing, which reeks of eco-fighters. You guys remember eco-fighters? It was an awesome game, it was just the entire game I had to play with awful, awkward controls because they didn't... they weren't, like, properly adapted. This is, like, mildly fun. This is the best one I've played so far. <laughs> this game had a dial controller so you could move and shoot separately. Whack. Arcade machines were whack, man. Remember, uh, Pac-Land? It was like a platformer that you control. There was no D-pad or joystick. There was a left button and a right button. It was like, bruh. What is this? I deflected it. Fuck you. But yeah, Ricochet is like literally exactly this. It's shocking. It is- it is essentially Valve made a Tron fan game in the Half-Life engine. That's what Ricochet is. But it's an interesting way of aiming to the reticle. Okay, that's like a basically- it's fine. Didn't really get to play it like properly, but oh well. Um, okay. So we did Tron, we did Sonic Boom, we did Rally X. Uh, Gorf will be the grand finale. Gorf is a masterpiece. I'm gonna do Paperboy. This one looks like it sucks. I played this for like two seconds and it seems like total CBT. Uh, literally 1984 Atari games. <laughs> Look at this. Blah, 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 blah. Extra, extra. There's just so much to take in here. What the fuck? You are the Paperboy. There it is. Deliver to your customers. So you yeet newspapers and avoid the literal unmitigated chaos that is happening. You can jump, apparently. I guess I didn't know you could jump. It's a rough job, but blah, 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 blah. This reminds me a lot of the last screen of Mike Tyson's punch out. The boy. What the fuck was that? T-H-E comma B-O-Y. Both initials. Both acronyms. So, I think, is this just like the day of like weird control schemes? Because this one controlled with like a handlebar too, right? Get lost. Literally like despicable me house. Okay, let's go a little bit faster. Sorry let's slow down. That. Oh shit, I broke his fucking window! And my guy went, sorry about that. 
Oh, oh, there's a dude break dance. Ow! And I killed him. Great. This is not how delivering paper works. Oh, oh, I'm fucking dead. This means war. This means war? Fucking fat Britney Spears ran me over. This doesn't mean war. This means I'm dead. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna like keep going really slow because this is hard. <laughs> you, you killed me in a past life. Look at this. This guy's just. Wait, do you get points for like fucking up the bad houses? Is that what's going on? This is weird. I'm like a vigilante. Not only am I delivering papers, but I'm trying to like fuck up evil piece people's houses. It's I can't turn anymore. What the fuck? The gun guy from Lupin the Third just came and like sauntered into my life. Oh, what? Yo, what the fuck? This is part of the game? Canceled subscription. You just lost a customer. Good! The thing that everybody ever has wanted to say to somebody who says that. You just lost yourself a customer. Go away! I'm happy you left. Wow. Wow! So I don't get jack shit for that. Because I barely missed the fucking thing. Wow, this game sucks. This is the one that I knew had different controls. Look at that. How funky is that? <laughs> I bet that makes it significantly more fun, honestly. Playing it with keys, I'm just like... <laughs> There's something kind of like really fun about those like really gimmicky arcade machines though. Like, I dig that. If I saw that in arc at an arcade as a kid, I'd be like, yo! It's like a neat concept. I don't know, are there any- What the fuck, the little Grim Reaper! Are there any other games that, like, do this? Where, where you're a paper boy and you have to yuck the papers, you know? It's kind of a neat concept. Huh? I guess I wasn't going fast enough. Okay. Literally just, like, the god of death is on Middle Street, dude. Imagine what's on a hard road. Are we gonna do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Look, it's the guy from uh, King of the Hill. Look at all those juicy windows. I love property damage. Scum Farms Dairy? Don't drink the scum milk. That guy's got his dick out, you just can't see it. Is that a bomb on the- There was a bomb there! Sorry, I'm like screamy today. These are just ridiculous games. Okay, come on. Why did- why am I stopping now? What is happening? What is happening? All of a sudden, I- I have to hold forward to go. I don't- That has never been a thing in the past 20 minutes of me playing this video game. Guys, the controls just changed. I know I say this sometimes, but the controls of the game just literally changed. They literally just changed. The controls of the game just changed. The controls of the game just changed. That's not my fault. That didn't used to be a thing. It was automatically moving me forward before. Like, what? But now I just go. What the fuck? What is happening? It went back! It went back! <laughs> I need to stop playing this fucking game. I'm now moving forward automatically again. Like, I'm, I haven't pressed the forward button this entire... This entire run. I have not pressed forward once. They are changing, man. Like, what is happening? Literal RNG. They charanged, guys. These these control schemes charang on your ass. Like, this guy's time must be really fucking precious to him. Like, holy oh shit. God. He's like, yeah, I can't. Sorry, I don't have the time to just like turn around and, and get a house that I missed. Yay, jump. I can't throw papers the other way. Come on. What? The stream has taken years off of my life. This is, this game is, I'm gonna put a word to this game. In fact, I'm gonna put two words to this game. Such bullshit. That's what this game is. Such fucking bullshit. What a quarter drainer. I have to fucking do the training grounds with the bees behind me. I hate this. When do the bees leave? Where? When? Who? Whose dick do I gotta suck to get the bees to leave? Like, what the fuck? Bruh. Sometimes I hate this job. Yeah, you live in hell, dude. I don't know how to break this to you. You live in a hellish nightmare world that, with like sentient tires and shit. Everybody is out to kill you. Literally everybody is out to kill you. Come on! I love you, paper boy! <laughs> Oh, guys, I did it. I beat a stage. I beat a stage, guys. 
Oh. oh, look, they boarded up the windows that I broke. Wow. These sprites, this little scene in particular really reminds me of Tapper a lot. See, Tapper! Oh, what a fucking fun game that is! I love Tapper, man! Wish I was playing Tapper right now! Tapper was fucking fun! That was just, like, good. Simply an enjoyable video game. Time to do Popeye. This one, there's a bit of a, a bit of a gamer fact about, which is that, uh, and this is maybe common knowledge at this point, but the original Donkey Kong, the first game with, uh, with Mario in it, was originally gonna be a Popeye game created by Shigeru Miyamoto. But they couldn't, I think Nintendo could not get the rights. I said, like, Nintendo could not get the rights to Popeye, so they made Donkey Kong instead. Then Donkey Kong was wildly successful, and they basically got the okay to make a Popeye game, finally. But this is Shigeru Miyamoto's original creative vision for Donkey Kong, I guess. I'm sure if Donkey Kong didn't exist, this game, the Popeye game, would be a lot more functionally similar to Donkey Kong, I guess. Get the spinach! Yeah! Yeah! Let's fucking go! Look at him run. Come on, punch him! Beat his ass! Fuck you! Can I punch that? Oh, yeah! Ooh! I wonder if I can, like, knock him down with that barrel or something. <laughs> Love his little run animation! Yeah, I'm gonna get you! I am what I am! Fuck you! Yeah! Get fucked! Holy shit, he's fucking dead! See, this is kind of fun, though. This is a fun game. Popeye, uh, is one of those... It's one of those things that I think a lot of people don't really understand that Popeye is a fucking beautiful show. Genuinely. Like, it just visually, the animation is fucking fantastic. It's, like, kind of shocking watching it nowadays and being like, whoa. Like, that animation is so fluid and smooth and awesome. Oh, look at this. The moon. Singing. Oh my god, there's a lot happening. Who was that fucking guy? Oh, it's Burger Meister Meister Burger! Or whatever. Nice. Oh wait, I gotta launch Burger Meister Meister Burger! Launch him into the sky! Yeah! Oh. Oh, that launched me up. Whoa! What the fuck? He jumped down twice! This was kind of good. This is, I mean, it's its the exact same kind of fun as, as the original Donkey Kong. Which is to say, it's kind of crusty, but it's not like the worst thing ever. Mario Bros. Original Mario Bros. Now that's bad. That shit's just stanky and like not even remotely fun to play anymore. But yeah, this, the, the environments are so much simpler than the sprites of the characters. Kind of throws me off. It's like the environments look like an Atari game, you know? Hold on. Stand under that, Bluto. Oh! Yeah! Let's go! I don't know much about this guy here eating the hamburger. I don't think his name's actually Burger Meister Meister Burger. That's, uh, the year without a Santa Claus. Who the fuck was that? Somebody started to phase in there. Fucking Earthbound enemy showed up. What the hell? All I know is he says, I'll pay you, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. That's his, like, famous quote, I guess. His name is Wimpy. Wow. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> Imagine your parents name you. They take one fucking look at you when you're a baby and they're just like, yeah, this kid's name's Wimpy. Wow, look at the tiny skull on the front of the ship. It's like, Neh. Of all the games in this fucking stream, I was not expecting this one to be the most fun. Because, spoiler alert, Gorf is not as fun as this. Gorf is Gorf. Whoa, Max is out at 90? Okay. It looks like- oh, wow. It looks like Popeye has an upside-down cross tattoo, by the way. Can we just talk about this? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one frame where it just looks like he's got a straight-up upside-down cross as a tattoo. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> eh, hail Satan, me. Eh. I- okay, I was gonna say, if you swipe me again, it, like, frame perfect- oh, fuck. Oh! Incredibly fucking hype. Insanely hype move. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, did you see him? He was, like, stuck. He couldn't figure out where to go, he was like- <laughs> See, the true quarter munchers are video games that are actually fun. That's like how they how they really get them. This is the only reason fun was developed in the first place in video games. Was because it's an effective scam. Cute to see uh where Pac-Man's trampoline came from. That's fucking horse shit and I'm never playing this game again. That is horse shit. That is horse shit, man. Get out Gorf. Playing Gorf. Now, this is a Midway game. I described Midway at a certain point in my life as being the leech on the belly of Namco. 
And I think no game better exemplifies that than Gorf. And uh, Paperboy had some some speech synthesis. This is another one. This is not the first arcade game to use speech synthesis, but I think it was one of the first. I guess the first one was a game called Stratavox that I don't want to play because it looks exceptionally boring. Apparently, Gorf stands for Galactic Orbiting Robot Force, and it was originally going to be a licensed game about uh, the, the first Star Trek movie. It was like an action game about Star Trek the motion picture, and when they saw the movie, the developers of this game realized, oh fuck, Star Trek the motion picture is like a cerebral plotting, like, it's like an intellectual movie, it's not like an action movie. <laughs> So they were like, fuck, that won't really work. Uh, at least I'm I'm interpreting this from... It, all it says here is, uh, on, on the Wikipedia page, Gorf was originally intended to be a tie-in with Star Trek The Motion Picture, but after reading the film's script, the game designers realized the concept would not work as a video game. And I'm assuming that's because it's not an action movie at all. However, the player's ship still resembles the Starship Enterprise. What is the other thing? There was something else insane on here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In 1984, literally 1984, this game received the award, the, the, the top award for best computer game audiovisual effects. Just remember that as we play Gorb or whatever. Whatever is it called? Gorf? I want you to keep that in mind, okay? Here it is. It's Gorf, baby. The evil Gorfian robot empire has attacked. Your assignment is to repel the invasion and launch a counterattack. You will engage various hostile spacecraft as you journey toward a dramatic confrontation with the enemy flagship. But that stuff, the space rank is like stuff that wouldn't actually appear on the screen. It would probably appear in like lit up buttons. And here we are. It's Gorf. <laughs> and it's got the Qbert voice. Oh yeah, I just can't Gorf. <laughs> so here we are. Best audio visual effects winner, first place in best audio visual effects. This like shit space shooter that's like a horrible amalgam of like space invaders and Galaxian and all that shit. It's like an actual nightmare. So yeah, Midway owned, they didn't make space invaders, but they owned the rights to space invaders. Which is why they were like, hmm, yes, we are a leech on the belly of a successful company. Time to make this, which is, of course, just ripping off Space Invaders completely. But they own the rights to it. Or they own the rights to, like, produce it in, uh, in America, I think, to release it. Galaxians! Look at this shit! So it's literally just, they, like, made the world's shittiest, like, repackaged version of other successful arcade games. Good god, that explosion. Space, got that. I think it's supposed to be like mocking me there, too. Saying like, good job, bitch. Uh, there is also a Mrs. Gorf that is a, it, it's like the fucking, it's like the holy grail of arcade game, like lost arcade games. Space Warp. Oh shit! Fuck! That was so fast! But there was going to be, there was originally planned to be a Mrs. Gorf, and what it says here on Wikipedia, and I've, I've like heard about this too, because when I when I found this game, I also heard about Mrs. Gorf, and I was like, I gotta play that, and I searched everywhere for it, and I couldn't find it, and I, real, I eventually figured out that it is not available anywhere. There is no, there's like, apparently one person owns the source code. Let me just read this excerpt from uh, the legacy section on the Gorf Wikipedia page. A planned sequel, Miss Gorf, was never released. It was programmed in the programming lang language Forth, F-O-R-T-H. The source code for the prototype is owned by Jamie Fenton. The game exists only as source code stored on, an, on a set of 8-inch floppy disks and would require access to a development environment that no longer exists in order to compile it into ex executable machine code. So, straight up, the game is just out there on some floppy disks somewhere, but it's impossible to actually make it into the actual game. Which is kind of insane. Kind of a cool story. But it reminds me of uh, Crazy Auto, which is another uh, sort of infamous arcade game that has gone unrecorded by the annals of history because the only people who have access to it have not released it in any form that is actually playable. I showed this briefly in the PAX video, but when that guy who made Ms. Pac-Man, or one of the creators of Ms. Pac-Man, showed a little demo of Crazy Auto. I think 
he was just running it in like an emulator on his computer, implying that he has the files for it just sitting around and just hasn't released it. I'm sure he'd get in trouble with uh, with like Namco if he did that. I guess it's like not the worst game ever though. I mean, it is ripping off a successful formula. Pre Prepare yourself for annihilation, space cadet. That's what he's saying there. I like how on the attract mode screen, the main character literally does not move or attack at all. Have you guys noticed this? They just sit there and fucking take it. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> like a lot of times in attract mode, there's like derpy shit, but usually they have the main character move a little bit. <laughs> but here it's like, okay. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Take it easy. Have a safe night.